good morning and happy day. It is the third day of the week, also known as Hump Day, and I am Marty G with today's talk. Welcome to another edition. I have my friend with me, my Macaro. Matt Macaro, how are you? I am great. How are you, Marty? I am great. Three M's in a row. Matt Macaro and Marty G. Well, I guess M and M and M and G. Yeah. M and M G. M and M and G. How you been, man? I've been good. Busy. 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 Yeah, a B, I bet. Mm-hmm. So tell me about what is new with you and New Leaf Hyperbarics and Wellness. That's new since last time we talked. <laughs> Correct. So last year during the whole COVID pandemic, we went through our fifth year anniversary. Oh, congratulations. Last June. And at that point, it was time for me to do a little branding upgrade, if you will. Okay. Uh, the year previously, I had been able to acquire the massage business that was the other half of our clinic does. And so feeling we're more of a full wellness clinic now and that I was in control of everything, I was able to change from just New Leaf Hyperbarics to New Leaf Hyperbarics and wellness. That's right, because you were leasing that part out and you had people coming in and doing mm-hmm. massage. Uh, actually, a whole separate company owned the massage company. Oh, okay, okay. So, folks, they're, they're still, a, you know, we still have LMTs employed as before. I just was able to take over that company. Good. Okay. Now all owned here. Still, still two separate companies, which is which is good because I can kind of keep things um, a little separated, but more easily marketed and easily put together in a package of wellness okay so from the customer base that you've had before to -hmm. the customer base you have now what are some of the things that they're going to see differently you know since you know covid's hit you know you've been you've gone a little bit but what are they going to see see differently now from before so we have integrated more of the light therapy into our office as well as we've changed chamber manufacturers we were working with a company called OxyHealth when we first opened. We've now switched over to a company called Summit to See, which makes exceptional chambers, just the same quality as OxyHealth. The difference is they make larger soft shell chambers than what OxyHealth makes. And they're able to do it for a better cost, especially to the end user. For example, the same size chambers we use here in office, which are 33 inches around, eight and a half feet long. Summit to See makes one as well. That's 30 day. 33 inches, Oxyhealth is a 32, so roughly right in that same diameter. So if you go, yep, right there to equipment, we can take a quick peek at those. But for the Oxyhealth chambers, for somebody to put one in their home with everything they would need to use it, run it, and be able to function a fully operational hybrid chamber in their home, for Oxyhealth was about $24,000. With the Summit to C chambers, for that same size is 10599 so about 60% the cost which is pretty awesome and then you see there that's that one's the what they know as the dive so that one's 33 inches and then the other one that was just up there i believe was the grand dive which is 40 inches mm-hmm. and then we have one in here that's 60 inches so 5 feet tall we can just roll people right in in a wheelchair in that one which is pretty awesome very cool you yeah. know, I'm curious, because you've been doing this for how many years now? Clinic's been open for six, come next month. I have been treating for eight myself. So if you could look back at the day one, Matt, <laughs> to eight year, eight year old Matt, mm-hmm. <laughs> what would you tell day one, Matt, differently to look forward to? Uh, the relief in chronic issues. When I started, I was eating ibuprofen like Tic Tacs, breakfast, lunch, dinner, sometimes before bed. And I don't mean the little ones you buy at the store, the 200 milligram ones. I'm talking about the big 800 milligram ones that the doctor we, you know, gives you a script for. You have to go to the pharmacy and get. Oh, because yeah. The, the fusion. Thing, right. <laughs> yeah, I was taking the ibuprofen ones versus, and I'd rather take the ibuprofen over the Oxycontins and all that stuff. Because ibuprofen was working. Mm-hmm. But thanks to hyperbarics and doing it regularly. I no longer have to take ibuprofen. Now there might be something like I'm working on the yard and I really tweak something or I hit something or, you know, yes, every once in a while I may have to, you know, in the emergent type time. 
but on a daily basis, I no longer have to take ibuprofen, which is amazing. As well as the numbness I had in these two fingers from the neck surgery, uh -huh. where they were repairing the bicep in this arm, left the numb these fingers numb and tingly. Gone within six weeks of doing wow. hyperbarics, which is pretty awesome. I mean, did you ever think it would just like blow up like it like it has, you know, from from day one? I mean, did you ever think you'd be here eight years later going? Man, I've helped a lot of people. Cause I, I know. I mean, literally. literally. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I tried Matt. I tried Matt. I'm like, wait, did you try Matt or did you try his services at, at New York? Because I'm I was hoping, I kind of, the reason I started is because I knew it was a very distinct fit for, especially Eugene. It just seemed like the right thing for the people that live here really are looking for an alternative. And so Eugene's a very alternative-based town. Yes, so is. when I could bring something here that wasn't, you know, go to the doctor, get the script, get the pharmaceuticals and all that fun stuff, but a way to actually help folks get off of that type of stuff even, I knew it would work. I just wasn't sure if it would be three months, six years, 10 years, how long before it was really rocking and rolling. It's done really, really well, actually. Even through COVID, we did well. That that proved to me, actually, COVID proved to me that we were an essential business. When I had to close last year because they said, you know, anybody that's not like a, a hospital or, you know, something like that, because we do, we're more of like what the term is a medical spa. And I had yeah. clients calling me on our phone, cry, literally crying, saying they needed to get in because of what was going on with them. I knew then that we were essential. So did you have to apply for something special to be considered essential or did you just say? I just said, I'm doing it. Okay. And, you know, and luckily we haven't had a big, a big huge shutdown like before. And, you know, they've changed the regulations where personal services are okay to be open. So we're good. Okay. So, so COVID didn't really, didn't really hammer you too bad. I mean, how did it affect your day to day? I mean, I, I'm, I'm assuming you've had to kind of change protocols a little bit. Yeah, we've, we've had to extend in our schedule, extend the time between appointments. So instead of having an hour and a half per a booking time, we had to open that up to two hours to allow for sanitation between clients and everything like that. We went out and got we're partnered with a company, actually our overseeing physician is partnered with a company that allows us, was allowed us to get UVC light wands for cleaning our chambers. We have UVC lights in the office for cleaning all sorts of things, as well as we just started working with um, a company called Volara that makes uh, oxygen, or I mean, uh, not oxygen, sorry, makes a air scrubber. Oh, She's okay. using the word oxygen all the time. So this machine actually sends changed particles in the air to go out and kill viruses and bacteria and things that are floating around in the air. The air doesn't have to pass through a filter to get clean, which is amazing. It is 3,000 square feet. So our whole office is clean. And then I got little miniature ones for inside the massage rooms because the massage room doors are closed 90% of the time. So they got little ones in there that does 300 square feet. So super, I like to share with folks, we are the most sanitary suite in this whole building oh okay well how do you okay what do you, what do you mean most sanitary so you mean just from all the protocols you have to probably do all right? the protocols plus all the equipment we have that cleans the air and the surfaces and everything so okay so how do people you know if i think you said you had to change bookings is that is it harder to get booked now? I mean, that's the first thing I think with all this set, all the in, in between time, what goes in there. Is it yeah. harder to schedule? No, not really harder to schedule. We just went from being able to say, see like 25 people a day to 23 people a day. We were able to, we extended hours a little bit. The hardest part for us is getting folks that maybe work nine to five, finding a time that works for them because our latest appointment is 445 right now. Okay. Because that puts us out of here, you know, after seven. Okay. We are looking for a couple employees. Once we can get a couple more employees, we are looking at being able to open a six o'clock area. So extending hours is a little bit longer, which is, which will be nice for folks that do work nine to five and just can't get off work any earlier, but need regular 
regular stuff during the week. We are open on Saturdays, still nine to six, and able to see you know 15 treatments then. There again, if we hire some folks, we'll be able to open our one of our other rooms we keep closed on the weekend okay. to allow for there again more appointments. Okay, and that was my next question. I mean, literally, you know, if if somebody wants to either make an appointment or I was going to ask, how, you know, people watching, I'm, I'd mm-hmm. like to figure out how to help you best. Obviously, mm-hmm. if someone's looking for employment, I know right now that's a big thing. You know, people lost jobs because of COVID. You know, what kind of qualifications does someone need to be a tech to actually come work for you? I mean, you know, first thing I'm thinking is like, is it just, I know, I don't know how to breathe or? <laughs> well, yeah, we do. We do like folks with a pulse. <laughs> okay. Pulse is good. Yeah. Pulse yeah, is yeah. good. No, uh, really just a great personality care. You want to, we want folks that really want to help people care for people and, and can see our vision of what we're trying to do with folks and help folks have a better life and uh, just overall better well being by just taking an hour or two out of their day. Just really, just it sounds corny, but just to breathe in a chamber under pressure, it's pretty amazing. And so, we do all in house in house training. Okay. So computer skills, good on the phone, good with people, energetic. Well, I, you say that, but I mean, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I the more I've uh, consulted and worked with different companies, it's something that it's a lost art. People don't mm-hmm. recognize it's something that's definitely needed. Um, mm-hmm. People take it for granted, but when someone calls in and they hit a phone tree, <laughs> push yeah. one push two, push three, push seven, dial 943 to get a person. I mean, people get frustrated. They just want to talk to a human being and be heard. Even if it's just to complain for a few seconds, they feel happy that they actually got a person to complain to and you've won someone over. So I think that's actually pretty valid. You know, Yeah, and our phone system, that's how it works. Our phones dial right through. If we're taking care of a client, if we have somebody at the counter, we will, you know, people in-house are most important to us. Okay. Then, you know, then folks on the phone come next after all the in-house stuff is taken care of. So if we don't answer the phone, it doesn't go to a phone tree. You get a, you get a voicemail that says exactly that. We're either on the other line or we're taking care of a client right now. Please leave a voicemail. We'll call you back at our earliest convenience. We are working with a company to uh, get a little answering. They call it a, an AI, if you will. So if we don't answer, it'll go to them and then they'll reach out with via text to see if they can help them. Uh, so folks, because we do have folks that just don't like to leave voicemails too. So we're trying to accommodate the folks that really just want to talk to somebody and leave a voicemail if they can't help them, or the folks that really want to use their personal devices and try to do it that way too. I I, I will tell you, I'm, I'm one of those people. I, I tell people, honestly, send me a text because the time it takes for me to get to my voicemail and then go through all the voicemails that are there to finally get to your voicemail, it's like, dude, send me a text. <laughs> it's so much easier. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. But so I know I asked you in the questions, I said, you know, burning desire. And, and you know, but think about, if anything, what are your goals for your business in the next like five, five years? You know, what would you like to see happen for New Leaf, New Leaf Hyperbaric and Hi, Hyperbarics and Wellness? What would you like to see happen for your business? I would like to see that this clinic is, you know, fully operational day to day seeing as many clients as we can, helping as many people as we can every week. You know, if that's like 130 treatments a week, whether that, and when I say 130 treatments a week, that doesn't mean we're seeing 130 people a week because some folks come in more than once a week, especially when they're first getting started, depending on what we're treating them for. Say they were treating them for a concussion. They may need to come in three to five times a week for the first couple of weeks. So that incorporates that into that 130 treatments a week to where I am able to open a second location up in Albany because I have had over the past several years, folks request that I open a second clinic closer to them. Because for folks that live in Albany, Salem, somewhere up in that area, it's an hour drive. Then you're here for at least an hour doing your treatment an hour. That's three hours out of your day. So if I could be up in their area and seeing how I live in Harrisburg, that's right in the middle for me. I can, I feel I can do that. Okay. Well, I know I need to get back in. I've had a couple of, since I've known you, and I've always felt better afterwards. So I know I need to. I think I still need to get a, get a few pounds off of me because I don't want to break a <laughs> break one of your devices. No, there's <laughs> I no the, breaking. I put, on, I put on the COVID 95 million pounds. So. <laughs> well, 
Well, just remember, you know, professional athletes use these same chambers that we use. In fact, you know, LeBron, LeBron uses one quite often. So, and he's a, he's a pretty big guy. Yeah. So, you know, I, I mean, literally, if someone wants to reach out, uh, if they've got questions about uh, hyperbaric treatments, if they've got more questions about what kind of services that uh, you give or you need, or you have available now, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Multiple ways. Uh, easiest way is the phone, of course. You know, just call us 541-636-3278. Okay. Peruse the website, newleafugene.com. There is a spot on there where you can send us questions right through the website. And we will, as soon as we see them, we will answer them and get back to you. Nifty. So. And I like your new website, by the way. Oh, very, thank you. Yeah. Very sharp. Very, very sharp. Part, part off the page. <laughs> yeah, it's really new. We just had that done in, in November. So it's super new. Yeah. As well as uh, we're on Facebook. So if you okay. look up New Leaf Eugene, New Leaf Hybrid Eugene on Facebook, You'll find us. We post a lot of articles and stuff in there too, studies. So you can learn a lot right from the Facebook page. And then, of course, you can message us right through there as well. Fantastic. And I'll make sure I put all that information, folks, in the comments. So you also have a way to just kind of click through and uh, make sure that you get that information as well. So any anything you want to share, any parting thoughts, any words of wisdom, anything you want to share with folks before we go? Two things, actually. Yeah. Since you mentioned being texting and super techie, those that are super techie and just like to use the apps on their phone, we do use Mind Body. So if you have the Mind Body app, you can find us right through there and schedule your own appointment right through that, which is pretty cool. Cool. For those that are ready just to take take a dive, as we like to say. For, for the parting wisdom, yeah. I've come to the conclusion that, you know, after this whole year, all of us really just need to just need to breathe a bit and take I agree. a minute. Let the stress go and just breathe. And if you're breathing good oxygen, especially in a pressurized vessel, we're able to put four times the amount in your body and help you with over 80 different things that could be going on. Why not do it? I so agree. Those are great words. And I think that's, I, I think that should be something we should just uh, write on a big old sign, put it in an envelope and send up to Washington and mm -hmm. send down South and <laughs> send, or maybe put like on every Facebook post before you actually type breathe now post <laughs> and i'm guilty i'm i'm guilty i will say i'm guilty but very wise words sir um i want to appreciate you thanks for uh, being being a return guest i think if i'm not mistaken you are my very first return look, guest look at that with my new platform so awesome thank you uh, Thanks so for being on. I'll make sure we have all your information. Thanks again for making round two of today's talk. Mm -hmm. And I will see you, uh, you know, whenever. I mean, we're going to always see you. Know, was, it, was it just, was it even easier the second time around? Oh, it's always easier the second time, right? That's right. Just like water. <laughs> right. Thanks again, guys. Absolutely. All right, say bye. See you later. Catch a flight, I need to switch it up. Okay. Got that black boy joy, might do my dance on him. Hey, Take no disrespect, might put my hands on him. Hey, Hit this chicken, now she wanna marry me. Okay. But she gon' need some closure and some therapy. No way. Came back to the city with my bank account on F. Giving rappers, I know they happy that I left. Hit the south in winter, I just.